Praise the Lord, friends. What a blessing it is to have this opportunity on another uh, Monday morning to come into each of your homes. Uh, normally at 6 a.m. on Mondays, we do our Monday manna, uh, and we are going to do uh, Monday manna this week. It'll be done tomorrow. Um, but the reason I wanted to come on today is because many of the schools um, in our um, district, uh, close to our district, um, in those districts, um, I guess I could say adjacent or next door um, to ours, many of our students are going back today. Uh, many of our teachers have been in the buildings preparing, uh, getting ready for um, our students. Uh, and today or yesterday, um, while praying for our students uh, at Mill Branch, I felt led and um, of the spirit to come back again um, on this Sunday morning and pray for students everywhere. Um, I wanna pray that the Lord will protect our students. Um, I wanna pray that this will be the best year yet. I even wanna pray um, that the, that spirit that roams and enters into deranged people um, and, 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 and uh, encourages them to um, violently attack our children. I want to pray against that spirit this morning. Um, I want to pray um, that the Lord would protect us, uh, that the Lord would cover our children, cover our students um, in his blood. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I believe that in my heart, that God can cover. Um, as an educator, um, as an educator, it is um, my heart's desire to see children learn, but it's also my heart's desire to see children protected. Um, to feel valued in the building, um, to feel a sense of importance. Um, that's the only way. That's the only way our children um, can become uh, who they need to become uh, and what they desire uh, to become. I pray um, this morning we're praying against sickness. We're praying against COVID-19. Uh, it is a low contraction right now. Research says a low contraction with monkeypox. We're even going to pray against that. We're going to pray that the Lord would literally cover our children. Um, so I want you to pray with me. Um, even after I get offline, I want you to share this um, because we really need to cover, cover our teachers, cover our administrators, cover our children. This is going to be the best year yet. And I want to pray for that. Let's pray. Father, thank you for um, your spirit, uh, your spirit that has uh, called us this morning to prayer. Um, praying for our school systems. Uh, first of all, God, we want to pray for the structures that be, um, those things that have been put in place over the summer uh, to help us close achievement gaps, to help us uh, push students, bubble students that are right there at the edge, um, push them over into proficiency. We pray for those programs and systems, God, that will do that. But we also pray, God, for those at-risk students, those students who struggle, those students, God, who have somewhat been pushed to the side and negated and looked over. We pray for them this morning. We pray, oh God, that you would begin to minister to them, that you would uh, open up the eyes of their understanding, oh God, that they might understand the information that is presented to them. And, and even God, if they don't enter proficiency this year, we pray for growth in the name of Jesus. We pray God that, 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 that some teacher would, would come in contact with uh, that student and uh, help to articulate um, those different skills and objectives to them on their level. We pray, oh God, for our exceptional children staff, that, that they will provide services to our children, God, who do have learning disabilities and who are at, God, a different place uh, than a general education student. We pray, God, that they would even see growth, perhaps, God, even enter proficiency this year. We pray, oh God, for our teachers that, that will present information to our students for the very first time. We pray, oh God, that, that they would be able to differentiate and, and be, be able to, God, uh, break it down for this group of students, but then uh, stretch it for that group of students. Father, we understand, God, that in one classroom, there may be uh, at-risk students, there may be on-grade level students, and then, God, there, there could be those 
intellectual students, those high flyers. But Father, we need teachers in our classrooms that are able to differentiate between all three groups and break down the same information or present the same information three different ways. And Father, we know <clears throat> that that doesn't come um, just by looking at a textbook. Father, that comes by experience. That comes from professional development. And Father, this morning, we're praying, oh God, that, that you would do something this year, God, that, that challenges those teachers to be that person that, that, that can present <clears throat> information across all uh, uh, students, to all students that can transcend information. We pray for that today. But most importantly, God, we pray for the safety of our children. Father, we want you to cover them in your blood. Hallelujah. Oh God, we want you, oh God, to saturate the grounds, oh God, with your blood and your protection and your peace, oh God. Oh God, when our children enter the building, we want them to feel valued and appreciated. So Father, we're asking you, oh God, to, to touch hearts. The heart of the King is in the Lord's hand. Touch the hearts of administrators. Touch the hearts of teachers, oh God. Touch the hearts of faculty and staff members that, that when they see our children, no matter um, uh, what our children have done in the past, no matter, God, the, the, the behavior or the discipline problems they've had. Father, we're praying, God, that, that you would touch the heart of our, our leaders in schools that today, oh God, every student, every staff member gets a fresh start. We pray for that in the name of Jesus. We pray for safety uh, for those bus routes. Uh, many bus drivers are either getting on their buses, or already started their routes, or getting ready to start those routes. We pray for your divine protection. We pray, God, that you would keep all drunk drivers and wild animals off the road that our children might enter our building safely. But then, God, we also pray, God, that they might... Um, leave safely this afternoon and return home, return to their families well. Father, we pray, oh God, for resources and financial means to supply for those students, God, who don't have at home, who who maybe mom is going through a rough time or maybe dad, mom passed away and dad is now left to raise children or grandparents are raising children because of struggles that that, that, that parents are having. Father, we pray for divine resources. We pray, oh God, that you would supply the need for those children. No child should go to bed hungry at night. And so, Father, we just ask, oh God, that you would make us your agents in this season. We pray, oh God, uh, that, that you'll protect our children from sickness, oh God. Protect them from COVID-19. Protect them from monkeypox. Protect them, God, from any other variant or any other thing, God, that will rise up. Up, uh, and, and try to harm our children and keep them from receiving the education that they need to. Father, we, we believe, God, that this is the best year yet. We profess that over our children, over our teachers. Oh, Father, we even pray uh, for, for overexhaustion so our teachers don't become overexerted and, and they don't become tired and, and, and just come into work just to come to work. But Father, we pray, God, that you would give them another zeal, another passion for the work that we do each and every day. Father, we love you. We appreciate you. We count it done in Jesus' name. Father, we believe you uh, to do great things. Order our steps today, oh God. Allow us to come across someone's path to present Jesus Christ to them in the school setting. We may not be able, God, to articulate and talk about you and, and, and just have Bible study, but Father, let the lives that we live and, and be exemplary to our students, to our staff, to everyone. We love you today and we praise you forever. Keep our children safe as they play athletics this year, oh God. Keep them, oh God, uh, in your divine protection as they travel up and down the road, God, to be sport athletes, uh, student athletes. We love you today. We praise you in Jesus' name. And we all said, amen. Listen, friends, this is going to be the best year yet. I pray God's richest blessings upon you, upon your children, upon their schools. I love you. And I pray God's richest blessings upon you. Always remember the Lord has made room. You shall be fruitful in the land. And if you believe on him, as the scriptures have said, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Listen, I want you to share this prayer. Share it with an educator this morning. Share it with the family. Maybe they're going out the door and they can listen to it. We want our children to be covered. I love you all. I'm going to my first day. I pray that your children have a good first day. God bless you all and good day.